We welcome back our SABC News Channel 404 viewers. Residents of the Bokup in Cape Town have placed themselves under voluntary lockdown due to the outbreak of COVID-19. Residents say the area is a tourist destination and they are more prone to come into contact with people from high-risk countries. The local residents association says they are placing the government and the tourism industry on notice that no tourists will be allowed into the area. Well, earlier we spoke to our reporter Craig Murray in Bokup. There's quite a little bit of confusion going on because um, uh, we, we found that the chairperson of the Boerkup Civic and Ratepayers Association, Mr. Osman Shubedin, and um, he was meant to be at, at, at 1.15, but uh, he's not taking any calls. I think there's lots of meetings taking place. So obviously, you know, the, the, they said there would be a lockdown because of uh, the, all the tourists that come in, and obviously the Boerkup, it's a very historical part of Cape Town. Um, uh, predominantly Muslim, it used to be the Malay quarters, and um, lots of tourists coming in, and obviously lots of tourists possibly from, from, from high-risk areas, and that was to protect the, the, the residents here. But I must tell you that um, since we've been here, which is close to an hour, we're still seeing lots of tourists walking around. So there's quite a bit of a confusion. We, we, we surmise that um, Mr. Shabuddin is in meetings at the moment. We're not sure if the residents have bought into this, because obviously there's lots of ripple effects as well. There's, um, there's, uh, we, we obviously understand the gravity of, of the situation. But um, lots of tour guides bringing tourists in here. There's a lot of establishments um, that provide um, Malay cuisine and all that. So although they've called the lockdown, I'm not quite sure if everyone's on, on the same book um, at the moment. And obviously, until we interview Mr. Shabuddin, we will find out uh, uh, you know, more, more about that. But a very historical part of Cape Town, part of South Africa as well. And mm. during apartheid, um, when the, we, we, the height of apartheid you had, unfortunately, played Places like District 6 that were, bare, you know, they used bu uh, uh, bulldozers to, to bulldo bulldozer. But here in the Boer Cup, they were very much protected. Um, they were very much protected by, um, you know, there all the mosques that were here, um, by the burial grounds, Muslim burial grounds. So a lot of that was left under uh, during apartheid. We have got Mr. Shubedin, if you can just come across here, sir. Yeah. Just, uh, just on, this, on this side here. Thank you. Thank you for your time. We'll just wait for the cameraman to, to get in. And uh, Mr. Usman Sh uh, Shabuddin is the chairperson of the Boerkarp Civic and Ratepayers Association. Welcome, sir. Um, the lockdown. Um, I'm still seeing tourists walking around. Just, just, just tell us um, well, well, why that has happened and, you know, well, what is going to take, what is going to um, take place soon. Yeah, I think, that's, that's fine. I think we, we took the direction from our president that we are facing a national disaster. Boerkarp is no different to any place that tourists visit. Uh, unfortunately, it's the same tourists that come from the countries that has been labelled high risk that is still walking around in Boerkarp. And we thought as a precautionary measure in Boerkarp to have a lockdown from tourists. I think the, the challenge that we're facing, that Boerkarp has a lot of elderly people, our average age must be about 60 odd, so we are more cautionary about that than to affect Boerkup. Because As you can see, Boerkup is quite a densely populated area, and if anything does happen in Boerkup, we'll find that it will be a big disaster. Just a couple of questions, Mr. Shabuddin. Um, you're obviously chairperson of the yeah. ratepayers, uh, civic and ratepayers. Yeah. Has there been buy-in from the residents themselves? I think there has, no, there has been buy-in from the residents because they've been very concerned, particularly about people coming into Boerkarp and with the virus and the uncertainty about it. I think the challenge that we sat with, not to create panic, but to take a decisive decision and saying, let's lock down Boerkarp, let's inform everybody that we, we're not chasing tourists away, we're just as a precaution measure saying, don't visit us for some time. Just, we, we're just running out of time, okay. we've got, we got under a minute. How, how do you crew, I'm seeing a lot of tourists walking around yes. at the moment, how do, you, how, do you, how do you stop tourists from coming in? I think one of the ways of stop tourists is what I'm doing now, like getting it across in, in the media. It's unfortunate we cannot stop the individual walkers and, uh, that comes from there, but we are trying to, to stop the, all the organized tours that we can stop. And now hopefully by next week, as the visa is not issued, things will die out and, and we'll be back to normality. We obviously, you know, with this virus is affecting the whole world, but we, 
I'm sure on behalf of the people of Cape Town, South Africa, we, we hope that everyone, everyone will be a right in the World Cup and obviously better to be proactive, rather, you know, do things and try and prevent. Like we say in, in, in World Cup, inshallah, everything will be okay, God willing. Thank you. That was um, Mr. Osman Shabuddin, who is the chairperson of the, the Civic and Ratepayers Association here in Boer Cup. And obviously, very historical part of Cape Town. Lots of tourists. You're not sure who, which tourists from what areas sure. are coming in. There still are tourists um, walking around at the moment. But um, hopefully this will highlight more. And obviously with the travel ban. Um, and it's not only the Boer Cup. It's obviously the, the, they had the... Table Mountain, the, uh, the yeah. cableways closed down. We've seen Robben Island. We've seen Parliament as well. Sure.